Hello everyone and welcome to the SQL mock interview session with Learn at Nowstar. This is a mock interview session that we conducted earlier with one of our participants, Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu, thanks a lot for taking part in this mock interview session. So at that time, due to some technical issues, we have a recording of the questions I asked, but there is no recording of the answers that Abhimanyu has given. So we were postponing posting this interview session, but I think it's a good idea just to post the questions and you all can attempt the SQL interview in that case and you can write your answers in the comments below and then we will be posting a video with the feedback and the correct answers next week as well. So go ahead and test yourself and all the best for this interview and we are looking forward to your answers in the comment section below. So welcome again to this interview and thanks a lot for joining. To begin with, uh, can you start by telling us a bit about your background and the role in your current project? So uh, now we are going to proceed to some SQL concepts. Okay. Um, so first of all, like uh, we have a concept of primary key. So why do you think the first of all, what is primary key? And why do you think it is needed in a table? So, like technically, when you design a database, how many primary keys can a table have? And can that take a null value, the primary key? And have you also heard of the unique constraint? So, you can define a unique constraint on the table as well. What is the easiest way to generate auto generate a primary key in a table? Now with writing a SQL query, uh, I have a table here. I have some data. So we have an employee table, let's say, and your data in the table is employee ID, department ID, so department to which the employee belongs and the salary of the employee. Now, what we are trying to achieve is we are trying to find the employee, the employee who has the second lowest salary in a department. So for example, if you look at the data in department one, all these are records for department one, the second lowest salary would be 12,000. And similarly for department two, the second lowest would be 20,000. Okay. So are you able to write a SQL query for this? So we have different kinds of joins in the table, right? So let's assume there are two tables, table A and table B, and there's a left join. So we are joining table A with table B left join on some key column. So this is a left join. Left uh, join means that all the records from the table A or the first table will be fetched and the matching records from the second table will be fetched, right? Now, if I want to convert this query into an inner join, which means I want matching records from both the tables, only the matching records, but I want to write it using the left join. So can I convert this statement into an inner join by adding some condition? Now we have, I have written the same query again, the same as we had in the previous question, two tables uh, being left joined, okay, on the key column. Uh, now, if let's say that the table has a lot of data, so table A has lots of data and table B also has lots of data, and I try to perform a left join on these two tables, so the query is taking a lot of time to output the results. So how do you a thing we can improve the performance of this query like what would be the first thing that you would do to improve the performance of this query so let's see we uh, let's say that we have declared some variable so or any column from any of the table has some value called 99 okay uh, now i write a case statement where i am checking uh, when the value of this variable is less than 100, then set to 1. When the value of variable is uh, greater than 90, then set to 2. Okay. So basically what we are checking here is we are checking two conditions, both of which are true. Uh, 
So this variable is less than 100 because 99 is less than 100. This is also true. And 99 is greater than 90. So the second condition is also true. So when you run a case statement on this kind of scenario, what would be the output? One or two? So now another query. Uh, let's say we have a table. So let's go back and look at some data. Okay, so let's say we have some classes, different classes, and for each class, there uh, are some batches, okay, and there's a start date and end date related to each batch. So the class might be, it's a SQL class, and there are different batches running for the SQL class. So some of them might be overlapping, meaning either their start date, so there can be two kinds of overlaps, partial overlap or full overlap. Partial overlap would mean that and the start date of one of the batch uh, falls after the start date of the initial batch okay so this kind of condition or the end date is falling within this time period of the original batch so for example if your batch runs from 11 september to 20th september and then there is another batch that runs from 18th to 28th september so there's a partial overlap of 18th, 19th, and 20th, right? Three days. So this is a partial overlap. Uh, and there could be a full overlap where all the, the complete training period falls within the training period of the original uh, class. So let's say from 1 to 10th, you have a training, then you have a training from 5th to 8th. So all these uh, three or four days fall between or fall within this range of 1 to 10. So this is a full overlap. It's fully overlapping, right? So your data is presented in this kind of table. So you have your class name, which remains the same uh, for certain batches. Okay, so there are five batches for SQL, and these are their start dates and end dates. Now I want to identify the batches uh, which are partially overlapping and also which are fully overlapping. So I want to identify them separately. So how will you frame your query for this? Okay, so have you used union and union all? So do you know what is the difference between the two? Which one do you think has a better performance? But before we end, uh, do you have any questions on the role? So that was a nice interview. Um, you did well, I think, considering your experience, you did well.